that I often say is the proudest moment that I ever had as a, a pure organizer is a ballot access drive in Texas in 2000 for Ralph Nader. Check this out. We had to collect 36,000 signatures in 75 days. Oh, but wait. The people, there are always more. Come on up. Come on up, my straight man. We had to collect those 36,000 signatures in 75 days in order to sign. You had to already be registered to vote. So I can't register any new person to sign it. But wait, there's more. You have to be already registered to vote and not have voted in the primary. Are you with me? You have to be concerned enough to vote to register, but so turned off that you don't vote. And an unpaid, all-volunteer effort collected 76,100 signatures in 75 Don't tell me we can't do this. But when I say an all-volunteer effort, I gotta own it. I was paid $2,000 a month. I quit my law practice to do that. I had I hired somebody else in Austin, in Houston, in San Antonio for $1,000 a month. All I'm saying is, we need a little bit of money. Yeah. Can you tell where I'm going with this? <laughs> so, the first thing I want to do is bring up uh, Hillary, and by the way, none of the above cannot fool with Hillary Kane because we just re-elected a treasure. <laughs> tell the crowd, what do we do when we get a little bit of money in the Green Party of the United States? Well, I'll tell you, David. <laughs> so, I know David is going to run through a bunch of different denominations, and he's going to start high and go lower. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a taste of what those donations can buy. So if you give a $1,000 tonight, you can help a state with ballot access. Speaking of ballot access, our ballot access committee has recently given $3,000 to Indiana and $1,500 to I think Montana. Budget, what would you decide to spend it on? 
Cukup. Anyone?